M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got the RT system software for my Yesu FT5, just tinkering around. I'm using the SCU20 lead, they do provide one, and I've got the download version, which is $25. So here we are on uh, the FT5 program. We've read the radio. I'll just show you how to do that. You go communications, get data from radio. My computer is a bit laggy. You turn off the radio, like so. Then turn it on by, press the F menu and turn it on. It will then say clone, click OK, and it says on there, once it says clone, hit the send button. Okay, and then in a couple of minutes, you would have read from your radio get to the end it says completed and tells you to turn the radio off and on okay we'll do that and there's all the data in front of us radios back on and if you look on the B section APRS is all enabled and that's what this video is about setting up APRS so we'll go to radio menu and we're going to look at the settings that I've got so, start off with APRS window here. And I would just say, this worked for me. So, I haven't actually changed many settings. I've got my call sign in, M0FXB-10. You can choose a number and it tells you, you know, which one and why. To turn on the modem, you just choose your BPS. I chose 1200. Position comment, there's lots to choose from, en route. TX delay, I didn't change that. Time zone, I've left it as it is. Human person here for a symbol. Left that, but you can choose multiple and you have multiple selections there. This section I didn't change at all, although I did tick all these boxes to show item, object, my, you know, everything there. I haven't touched that. And I did tick all these boxes, enable. It gives out a, you know, a reason for the ringer and the pop-ups. All selected there. Right, the next one, I didn't, I haven't done a PRS beacon, but I did add that. But the important one is the GPNF, GPS. You need to choose if it's going to be um, GPS or manual. Now, the way you choose manual is you choose one of these. So I've I've got that selected, but you can choose, you can add other positions, yeah? And then you can select them, look here, P1, P2. Okay, so I'll, I'll choose P1, and then I'm gonna add the same position that I've already got there. You do have to put in the north first, then my position, five, one, three six eight four and again you've got to choose west or east i'm west and we go on mine i have to go zero actually it's actually zero zero two nine three three and i'll put the other ones as zeros okay and then we can uh, close that and save it Apply settings. Then you want to send that back to your radio. So we go communication, send to radio. We need to turn our radio off. Hold down the F, turn on. It says clone. So receive. So on here it says verify it says clone, which it does. Press the receive key. and then click OK. And it's, it's now sending the data to the radio. Okay, the radio rebooted on its own this time. Everything's in. A good thing about RT systems, look, that's what we've just done here. But our original file is here, probably this one, because it does save files, save changes. I'm gonna put no on that one. Each time you read, you get a new file. So if you make a mistake, then you can adjust it so it's it's just easy to use software 
Anyway, check, there's a, there's my FT5 APRS all set up. Obviously, if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off in the radio settings anyway. You just go hold down F, hit APRS, and then just go down through all the settings are here that we've been playing with. And the quick one, really, if you don't want to use it, just go to number four, tap the screen, and turn the 1200 BPS, just turn it off. And uh, then your APRS will be off. And looks like we have actually got a GPS lock, which is quite nice. You don't normally get that in this room. So that makes it more fun with APRS, doesn't it, knowing that. And if you want a TX, you can go F, go forward. Let's just make sure we're on the correct frequency a minute, go back. You need to be on 144-800, so we'll go VFO for now. Hold our finger. We should have created a memory channel. I'll do that now, actually, before the video ends. 144800, and then look, so F, forward, beacon TX. There you are, there's a beacon TX. And I'll just show you how to create that memory channel. So for now, we'll go file. Where is it? There's an insert somewhere. We're going to find, there it is there. It, so we go edit. Insert, leaves us a little gap. Depends where you click. Let's click here and do it again. Click here, file, edit, I mean, insert. There's a little gap. We'll go 144.800. Just want it simplex, which is blank simplex. We don't need tones or anything. That's it. I think that's all you need to do. Give it a name. So we'll just type here where it says name A in caps A P R S and that's it and just go communication send out to radio and you've created your APRS channel on analog digital is another ball game altogether so thanks for watching my channel catch you on air 73 all the best